Hey everybody, welcome and thank you so much for tuning in. We're coming from you here at uh, the GAA Classic Car Auction in Greensboro, North Carolina. Uh, my name's Chris Sellerocha with Haggerty. Uh, we're very fortunate and honored to uh, be able to have such a strong partnership with uh, GAA Classic Cars. Um, we've been a longtime supporter and partner uh, of the auction ever since its inception about 10 years ago. Uh, for, you, for those of you that aren't aware, uh, Haggerty is one of the leading uh, classic car insurers for all these uh, collectible cars that go across the auction block. Uh, we specialize in anything collectible uh, when it comes to cars. Um, but I'm here with uh, Johnny Ransom with GAA Classic Cars. Johnny, thanks so much for having us here. Thank you for inviting us. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, in July, uh, the GAA Classic Cars have, has um, a really important auction that's coming up July 21st through 24th, correct? 23rd. 23rd. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, and they're going to be having quite a few cars go across the auction block. How many do you guys plan to auction off? Uh, 650. Wow. Wow. Quite a few. Yes, sir. Now, uh, tell me a little bit about the auction, where you guys got started and how long you've been around. Yeah, we've been, this, we're celebrating our 10th anniversary uh, and we've been doing it since 2012. And to look and we have grown leaps and bounds and we started out i can remember with just this building in the annex that we had and we started out with 350 cars and i thought i thought it was just like the world was going to come to an end with just 350 <laughs> cars and now we have grown to 650 cars and the quality of our cars are just unbelievable unbelievable our quality is just went out the roof and um we, we've been very fortunate that's awesome and now are you just marketing to the north carolina area or are there people coming from all over the country all right? over the united states and we do internet bidding and also we do uh, phone bidding of course and through proxy bids our internet bidders and but we've sold for all the way to australia uh, germany belgium um, just wouldn't believe the people that have that we have come in contact with over the just over the telephone and on the internet that's wow. purchased cars so wow we have grown that's, tremendously that's amazing now i know this is a Im really impressive facility and uh, you've got room for tons and tons of cars tell me a little bit about kind of the ga classic car compound here i mean tell us a little bit about the setup. yeah we're 5.5 acres under one roof Wow. And he is building another building <laughs> as we speak. And he's always, Mr. Green's always had a vision of uh, if you're not expanding, you're dead in the water. Mm -hmm. And he's always expanded. That's how, that was part of his business motto. I've worked for GAA for 25 years. Mm -hmm. um, and he, I, he's never stopped building. He's always wow. expanded through good times and bad times. And the old saying is, if you build it, they will come. And it's true. Yeah. And he's building a building as we speak. And then hopefully going forward, we're, he's going to build another building beside of it. We got the plans on his desk for a memorabilia auction. So wow. we're going to expand to at the same time as the regular car auction going on, we'll be doing memorabilia at the same time. Okay. It'll be like an early morning start. So people that come in early to look at cars can actually go over and purchase memorabilia also. Have you found the, the demands time. there for? Oh, for the absolutely! Just as just as much as they are in cars. Wow. Most of these car guys have uh, man caves, mm -hmm. and, or in, and even their garages, they like memorabilia in it. Yeah. So I mean, it goes hand in hand uh, yeah. with these cars. What? Well, and it's funny you say that. Uh, for those of you that don't know, we can actually insure that automobilia on our policy as well. So if you have oh, a, wow. a vehicle that's insured by Haggerty, you can also endorse uh, the automobilia and that memorabilia that's in your garage along with your car. And, oh. and as you know, some of these signs and gas pumps and everything, they're worth quite a bit, aren't they? Oh, absolutely. They, they get into the $100,000 mark real quick. Really? Absolutely. Some of the gas pumps and signs, uh, the authentic signs. And mm -hmm. like I said, we're, it's, it's amazing how much those go for. Yeah, right. Too. Now, speaking of, about the auction block, what's the most expensive car that you've ever had go across the block here? At the we GAA? sold a 2017 GT um, and it ran, it done a little bit over a million dollars. So. Wow. But now in, in total, do you know what the expected sale count would be for this upcoming July auction? No, I don't know the total. I mean, you know, we, we through the pandemic, we've been very fortunate. We had our facility. We were like a lot, one of the only games in town for a yeah. long time. 
and um, we even had four sales last year instead of three. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a collection to throw in there also. So anybody's got collections that's wanting to downsize the collections, we'll love to have a chance to be able to bid on it also. Yeah. Well, t tell me about the experiences of bidder here. You know, I know that you guys have the restaurant and and food, drinks, and everything. You know, the entire time. What's the experience like for a bidder to come here versus going to a different auction? Why the GAA class? Well, one auction? thing is the, uh, the comfort, yeah. okay, indoor air condition. Uh, also, we do, uh, for we have our 50s diner, but also we have food trucks too outside. And we have skyboxes also for our, the people that purchase X amount of cars, X yeah. amount of dollars, of course, uh, to be able to sit comfortably also. So, yeah. You, you come here, we, we got, I think we got the best seating, the best jumbotrons. I think we got the best of everything and a lot of hosp Southern hospitality. And if you right. come to North Carolina, you're going to get that Southern hospitality where you might not get it somewhere else. That's and we right. do appreciate everybody's business. Yeah, and that makes a huge difference. And yep. it shows too, yep. uh, definitely a world-class operation. Um, now we've got a couple special cars behind us here that are going to be going across the auction block. Uh, would you mind Tell us a little bit about these and, and what makes them special. And Sure. Uh, well, first of all, we'll start out with the red 65 Resto Mod uh, Corvette. It's got an LS motor in it. Also, it's got only 4,000 miles since the restoration. It's got wow. the white bucket seats in it, the Wildwood brake system. Also, it's, it's got the top of the line um, uh, digital dash and so forth in it too. So it's got the tubular front end suspension in it too, the tubular frame that was put on there. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's it's very nice and that's, you know, the new modern millennials really don't want the carburetor cars and so forth. Yeah. You can, they love the LS motors. This is, you can drive this car from here to California with comfort, not yeah. worrying about it breaking down. That's and you for sure. can go into a parts store and get any part you need. For Absolutely, it too, right? Absolutely. That's that's the newest rising demand in the collector car business is the resto mods with the LS mods. So you've seen a lot of those come across yes, that sir. have swapped newer engines and all yeah. that. Yeah, that's what everybody's looking for. They yeah. want to go and and, and if you if you follow collector cars, you can see the prices and see how much they have really skyrocketed too because it's such a big demand. So you don't see the values decreasing when these rest of mods are, are swapped, they're, they're actually going up because of the demand? Absolutely. Wow. It's easier maintenance. So, That's right. So. Um, and also behind me here, we got a 55 Chevrolet Bel Air black with red guts inside of it. And it also has an LS motor in it also. Does it really? Yes, it does. And a wildwood brake system too. So. Uh, that's that's this is what everyone's looking for now. Yeah. They really like the look of them. They really like the easiness and mm -hmm. the maintenance-free yeah. uh, gizmos that goes along with it. Also, yeah, all the creature comforts. I'm sure it's got AC too, doesn't it? Absolutely, absolutely. Power steering, power brakes, and gas mileage. And gas mileage. <laughs> right. I don't know. The MLSs they go pretty. When you get in there, you want to put your foot to the floor on that. Yeah. You ain't gonna get much of a gas <laughs> mileage. That's beautiful. Now. Um, do you happen to know where this this vehicle was uh, restored? Or this was restored in North Carolina. This old guy's out of Forest City, North Carolina. Uh -huh. He would usually do one car a year, wow. and uh, he has a great name about what he's been doing mm -hmm. for years and years. And he just retired, unfortunately. And this is the latest one he's done. Wow! So we were uh, fortunate to be able to get this. Now, are these all North Carolina native cars? Uh, yes, they are. Awesome. All three of them. Now tell us a little bit about the GT. It kind of sticks out like a sore thumb between these two uh, 60s hot yes, rods. Yes, it does. But you know, I, I'm a big fan of GTs. I've always liked the GTs. Not that I have one, I would love to have one. Yeah. Uh, but I'm a Ford guy. Um, the GTs, this one is the yellow. And a lot of people don't realize it's the least production they made. Really? So that's what makes this so much more desirable is mm -hmm. the yellows. You got your blues, your blacks, your whites. And, and um, the white and blue Shelby colors also, yeah. but everybody seeks this out here. It's got all four options. Uh -huh. It's got four, over a little bit over 4,000 miles. Wow. And we're really excited to be able to have, this is a previous customer that came back to us that had enough of faith in us to get it sold for him. Wow. So. Six speed manual, yes. supercharged 5.4? Yeah. That's correct. How much horsepower do you know? I do not know how much horsepower, but I do know, I can tell you one thing, it goes fast. It goes plenty fast. Plenty right? fast. <laughs> A beautiful car, beautiful car. Um, what about the, the interior? Is there anything notable about the interior that kind of makes it stand out? You, you know, they still got, the, they, they had their own design of the racing seats that they came up with today. Mm -hmm. and, and and if you've ever sat in one, you can see how this actually fits you like a glove yeah. when you get in them, so. It's like a, a street built race car, That's right? That's correct. 
That's now correct. they've recently come out with a newer GT, right? They kind of brought it back. Yes, but. they did the 2017, 18, 19, and I think they've done the 20 also. And I think they're pretty much going to be done with those. Wow. Probably so. on to electric after that, right? Yeah, yeah unfortunately. Mm. Have you seen any electric car conversions come through? I know that they're doing some with the, the antique cars these days. Yeah, I haven't seen it yet. You know, I have seen the like the, the they take a, a new Corvette and they've made them into the electric, even down to stuff like this and made them into electrics and yeah. stuff. I've seen that on the road is uh, at a big car shows out uh, west yeah. and on the west coast, but I haven't seen anything, anyone that I know of yet. Yeah. Our guys that buy these are, I still say is the last blue blood Americans. Yeah. And they believe they like that sound and yep. they like that horsepower, they like the look. And I, it's, you know, I know it's coming and I know there ain't much you can do about it, but I, it's gonna be a while for this stuff stops. And I think the GAA Classic Car Auction is a true testament to the fact that these aren't going away and the demand is still there. Absolutely. It doesn't matter what age you are, there's yeah. there's people my age that are just craving to have the sound of a rumbling V8 and an old classic in their garage. Well, yeah. I, that's the that's part that shows you the history of our our automobile manufacturing in the US yeah. and how strong it has and how the love for it has always been there. That's right. And um, we're excited to be a part of it here. Absolutely, and, and we're really honored to be a part of it as well, you know, as we go through this journey. Um, Johnny, I think that's it for me. Uh, thanks so much for having us here, and, and we really appreciate you letting us uh, feature some of these cars and talk a little bit about the auction. Um, everybody, make sure that you, uh, you tune in, you come visit the auction uh, in July, uh, see some of the beautiful cars that are coming across the auction block. Um, but thank you so much. Uh, have a great rest of your day.